Take a look at this roof. Quite different, isn't it? Very different from the buildings that just have a roof with a triangular peak. Or perhaps you simply want to accent your buildings in different ways, such as this one over here. There is actually a simple key to getting this to work or learning how to do this, and I will show you with this building over here. The truth of the matter is that the shape of the building can be used to dictate the shape of the roof. Notice the way the building has been constructed, with corners turning in various directions. That is actually an easy first step to creating varied rooftops. After you have your building, what you need to do is start using the corner pieces of a rooftop on those parts of the building that stick out. The ones on these corner turns that I mentioned earlier. Begin placing corner pieces on all of them. There is a specific builder table which can be used to turn regular rooftop pieces into these corner pieces as well as conclave pieces. You'll notice that coming out of them is this line that aims towards the center. What you want to do is continually build up those lines inwards. You essentially want to continue following the logic of the roof. In between the corner pieces, you'll notice that they require ones that go more in towards the building. This is where the conclave pieces come in. Fill in these areas in them to gain the desired effect. Make sure you do this on both the front and the back so that the building essentially can meet in the middle. Keep following the logic and you'll find that in a way, the roof will practically begin to build itself. As it comes together, you'll notice that it forms a rather unique shape. When you first begin to make roofs, you'll notice that it can be a real pain in the neck. The game's blocks are programmed in a way that it expects you to build the roof outwards, but for me it just seems more logical to build inwards. Or perhaps that's just me and I'm weird. But stick with it. You'll find that as you keep going, you'll find it all comes together. Most of the time, the process is as simple as getting all of the pieces to eventually meet. Very rarely, though it may happen, is that when meeting, you'll find an odd spot that no matter where you try to fill it, the piece will end up out of place and will be showing its white insides. Usually, this means it demands a flat piece, so go ahead and fill it in that way. If you begin to get good at this and begin to really understand the way the logic of these roofs work, and you can memorize the way you want the roof to come together, you can use this to your advantage. And you can build an interesting roof design that follows the logic and design you want, despite the building not being shaped oddly. For this example, I overhung this roof on a normally square-shaped building, and then went ahead with the process from there. Before I go, consider a few other things about roofs as well. Another thing to consider are interesting functions. I wanted my base at Scarlet Sands to act as a place I could quickly get into and out of whenever I wanted to get anywhere on the island quickly. So I created this opening right here where the Builder Tablet is. This way I can quickly pop out with Bird Up here or use my cape to get anywhere where I need to. And it shows off the Builder Tablet as a centerpiece as a bonus. Alternatively, if I'm flying from anywhere up high, I can get back into the building easily. Another thing to consider are interesting themes. Here in Grassy Gardens, you'll notice that I've created quite a few hobbit holes. Because of that theme, I decided that they would all have these grassy roofings. My little mimicking of the Shire here isn't super elaborate, but it fits a theme. And that kind of gives it its own personal identity. And maybe all your roofs need is that special simple little idea to make it a little different. And lastly, another idea is to not top your building using roof tiles, but to use blocks of your choice. Then use the chisel to slant them and corner them. I haven't delved much into this myself yet, but it's something I plan to try out more and more. Anyway, I hope this was a help. May it lead to you creating more interesting designs. Thank you for watching, and God bless you all.